I'm Megan Edwards for Investment Pitch Media. Eximin Mining continues to add to his extensive portfolio of precious metals properties in British Columbia. In its latest acquisition, the company acquired 100% of several mineral claims in the Wild Horse Creek area, located 15 kilometers northeast of Cranbrook, in the Fort Steele Mining Division in southeastern British Columbia. The Wild Horse Creek property, which consists of two separate packages, totaling 12,767 hectares, is located near Fort Steele and borders Eximin's 453-hectare Hughes Range claims. The land package is covered by two separate purchase agreements, under which Eximin is required to issue 3,455,000 shares split among several vendors, which have all entered into voting trust agreements. In the first purchase agreement, Eximin acquired a 100% interest in a total of 43 mineral claims covering 3,221 hectares, subject to a 1% NSR. Eximin paid 1,355,000 shares to six individuals. In the second purchase agreement, Eximin acquired a 100% interest in a total of 96 claims covering 9,546 hectares, subject to a 1% NSR with a $1 million buyout. Eximin paid 2,100,000 shares to four individuals and two private corporations. This land package came with current exploration permits approved for drilling along with a transfer to Eximin of a total of $189,607 in portable assessment credits. The Wild Horse Creek property lies within the Kimberly Gold Trend, a zone that extends southwestward from the Rocky Mountains into the western part of the Purcell Mountains. In 1864, gold was discovered in Wild Horse Creek and the 720-kilometer-long trail known as the Dudney Trail was started to connect Hope with the gold mining community known as Fisherville on Wild Horse Creek. More than 10 million ounces of gold is estimated to have been recovered from the gold-bearing streams in the East Kootenai area and the locations of more than 50 gold showings have been reported. Placer Gold operations continue to this day on several gold-bearing streams around Cranbrook. The Wild Horse Creek claims cover several bedrock precious metal occurrences and potential source areas for the famous placer gold deposits. Several polymetallic silver, gold, lead, zinc, and gold quartz vein prospects occur on the claims. One of the most interesting prospects is the Lone 4 claim where a 2016 diamond drill hole intersected elevated gold values in strongly hydrothermally altered rocks. The alteration intensity increases towards the bottom of the hole and the lower portion of the hole cored an auriferous breccia zone with gold values up to 3.26 grams per ton gold over one meter, suggesting that a source of the rich surficial gold placer deposits could be located on this claim. Management cautions that the historical information requires further work and should not be relied upon. Eximin owns 100% of three of its precious metal projects located in southern BC, the Amelia Gold Mine, the Brett Epithermal Gold Project, and the Treasure Mountain Silver Project adjacent to the past-producing Huldra Silver Mine. Currently, the Treasure Mountain Silver Project is under an option, with the option partner making annual stage cash and stocks payments, as well as funding the project. The company has also acquired control of the Kenville Gold Mine near Nelson, B.C., which comes with surface and underground rights, buildings, and equipment. Eximin shares are trading at 25 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, eximinminingcorp.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO, at 604-488-3900. For investor relations, contact Sophie Cesar at 604-488-3900 or by email at ir at eximinminingcorp.com. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to our channel. I'm Megan Edwards for Investment Pitch Media.